Let's move on to the next part of our video series, which is menu settings and how menus interact with screens. Uh, so we'll check out the menu options from the right hand toolbar. You can see that they are listed uh, in what we call a hamburger menu uh, right under the appearance settings there. And what appears first is the style options for the main menu. So this menu is different from the list of screens that you can see over here on the left and is what users will use to navigate to the major content sections of your app. Uh, so there are a number of different menu styles you can select. However, if you're building an app from scratch, we always recommend that you use the one that comes with your app template or find a similar one as they were selected to interact best with that particular template's content in the best way possible. So let's change up this menu for fun. You can see our menu actually is on the first page of our app um, in the event app template. This won't always be the case and you can navigate to it from the little circle. Um, you can see that we have the circle menu currently selected, but let's switch to a slide in menu and see what that would look like. So you'll always see these changes reflected on the previewer right here. Uh, and now if we want to test it out, simply hop over into preview mode and click on the hamburger menu at the top and now it slides in. So let's go back there. You can always test these in preview mode and in the Fliplet Viewer app to see how the end users would experience this particular menu. Um, and if you hop over to the menu links tab, Right here, you'll see that there are three main options in the dropdown. So you can hide the menu completely. You can show all the screens, which we wouldn't want to do because we have quite a few of them over here on the left. And all templates by default come with their own specific menu of what we would recommend in there. You can always customize this. Um, so the event menu currently is a custom menu. And let's say we wanted to add our test screen to the menu. You simply click add menu link. You can change the label of the link. So let's say test, and we want it to display another screen, which would be our test screen. You could change the animations as well, or change the link actions to do a number of different things like open a document, play a video, go to a web page, things like that. But let's save it and take a look at what it looks like. So that's been saved. Now if we go into preview and check out our menu, you can see that our test screen is right there at the bottom. If we click on that, voila, there is our test screen. So let's go back into edit and actually remove that from our menu options. To remove a screen from the menu, simply click on the little red trash can and there it's gone. You wanna click save so that your menu updates for sure. And you can also reorder the menu through the drag and drop feature. So you're gonna click on you know, the little dots on the side here and just pull whatever you want to move down there. Those changes, if you click save, will also be reflected in the menu or the hamburger menu right at the top over there. So save your menu and test it out in preview mode to make sure you're happy with it before uh, launching any changes or before giving that to test testers. See you next time.